You've heard of super lights, super glides, now we'll get ready for super grips. A new grip tape from Pulsar, which aims to change the way we use grip tape on our peripherals. But how? It is just tape, isn't it? Will it even make a difference? I mean, can't I just wrap regular tape around my mouse instead? The Pulsar Super Grips aims to do something a bit different compared to the competition. For those unfamiliar with the concept of grip tape, grip tape is sometimes sold with a mouse as a little bonus. You can also buy them separately pre-cut for your mouse specifically, and commonly it will look like this. Most of the tape covers the main buttons and sides completely. I've tried a few mice with this type of grip tape. I'm not that keen on them because I don't find that it makes a huge difference to grip. And I'm also not a big fan of these kind of textures. Instead of covering the mouse on the sides and the buttons like you would normally find with grip tape, Pulsar aimed to do something a bit different. So let's take a look at my Death Adder V3 Pro as an example. What I did was place the smaller tabs in the key areas where my fingers normally rest. So I applied two squares for the thumb rest and on the other side I put one square where the tip of my ring finger sits and one below for my pinky finger. I also applied two of the large strips over the main mouse buttons with an additional tab above the right one for my middle finger. And that's it. I've put them here so when I go ape mode in game all of my fingers are covered but when I'm lounging there's still support available. I can even place an extra one down here so all my digits are covered with various grip types that I use. But you may wonder, are they grippy? Well, first you'll notice that unlike the competition, there's no visual indentations applied to it. A lot of others have a pattern applied to provide more grip. With a super grip, there's a bit of texture, but for the most part, it's smooth, or at least looks it. Apparently, this is where the liquid rubber comes in, which is used to make it. My first thoughts were, it looks sticky, but it isn't. It's actually just really grippy. Here I am using the lightest touch possible, but my finger is still able to move the mouse. The fact that on the sides especially, I only need to put one square tab to maintain a decent grip shows a lot. These really help keep your fingers in place. And you can tell it's not sticky because there's hardly any cat hairs on it. And my cat lives on me whenever I'm home and this Death Adder V3 is what I use mainly at home. So if it was sticky, you'd be able to tell because it would be covered in fur. And I have not cleaned this mouse for the video at all, although maybe I should have. But that's not all, these little tabs can be put anywhere. Hello. You could use them on your keycaps if your fingers slip off the spacebar. You could even stick them on your hands if you struggle with things like opening doors. You're supported with all sorts of activities with this extra grip. It's also available as an uncut sheet, so if you want to cover an entire mouse with it, like other grip tapes, you can. But it won't really look great, and you'd be stupid to try, really. Personally, I haven't really felt the need for grip tape, especially based on what I've used previously, which I'll admit is normally the grip tape that comes with the mice. This is the first grip tape that I've used that actually seems like it has a purpose to me. But is grip tape like this even needed? Or is this just another gimmick, another piece of plastic that will just find itself in the ocean once again with all the other plastic waste that gaming peripherals create? Can these even create any performance benefit. I don't think this is going to have a massive impact. In my opinion, I feel that this kind of stuff is more suited for a specific person who wants to hold on to their mouse like a goblin. In all my years of gaming, so like 60 plus years now, I've never used a mouse and felt like I needed grip tape on it. Maybe that can change if there's a shift away from the standard plastic materials that mice are made out of. The only benefit I think is probably for those pure fingertip focused gaming mice where you need the grip because if you press down too hard on the mouse you'll flatten it. So for this kind of grip tape as it is incredibly grippy it's probably best to use it as I described. Place it in key areas where contact is made. Don't cover the mouse with this stuff. So how much are the super grips? These are around about 10 dollars which is double the price to join our youtube membership program by the way that ten dollars is for a sheet of incredibly grippy grip tape so if you're someone that's on the lookout for really grippy grip tape this grip tape is most certainly grippy and that ten dollars is for both the pre-cut and uncut versions sold separately 
I think that's not such a bad price and honestly seems to be the standard of what's available these days in comparison to other manufacturers. And I personally feel like there's a little bit more flexibility behind this grip tape. It's not just slap it on the entirety of your mouse and hope that you like it. And you can put some of this on things like your keycaps, controllers and god knows else what. Just don't tell me where you put your grip tape please. A big thanks to Pulsar for sending these out to me. And if you want to combine the super grips with a super glide mouse pad, there's a review of one on screen now that you should watch.